what's up out there you guys Marty Schwartz here with guitarjams.com uh, I'm gonna teach you this awesome 80s lick you know from the kind of glam era of the 80s for all you fans out there I uh, wanna let you know too real quick I've got an ebook and if you sign up down there I'm gonna send you this ebook and not only does it have all the the, the chord shapes you want to know as a guitar player but it's also got the scales the most common scales it's got the main positions of the pentatonic scale, which is used for soloing in this song, uh, as well as the blues scale. So it's a really helpful little thing to have. And all you gotta do, it's totally free, you just sign up down there. Let me show you the lick. So the first thing I wanna tell you about learning this riff is that we are in E flat tuning. So if you have a tuner, you want this to be, instead of an E, you want it to be an E with a lowercase b. Same thing with the A. A flat and then we got D flat but sometimes on a tuner it would say C with the number sign which would be C sharp so we or we've got G flat or F sharp and we got B flat and then we got E flat again so E flat tuning Hendrix Guns N' Roses and a million others I'm gonna show you the signature sound of the lick. So we're gonna start with an E major chord, which is gonna be open E, and then seven on the A, and then nine on the D, G, and B. So that's the first thing we do. And then we're gonna hit the open E. Next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna focus on the, uh, you know, basically the G and the B string. So this little thing we're gonna have, we're gonna kind of bar the seventh fret of the B, high E and G. Middle finger is gonna be down on the eighth of the B. Ring finger is gonna be on the ninth of the G. I'm gonna go like this. We're not playing the high E, it's just barred, but we're not playing, we're not strumming that, we're just going for the G and B string and we go, and then ring finger comes off. So we got. So if you can see from this bar chord, what I do is I just move my middle finger to the B string right there from this chord shape, like. this one twice so we got then middle finger comes off and we hit this little cluster right here these two notes once so check it out here's everything so far one more time Now we scoot this down a whole step and we put our ring finger on the seventh fret of the B string. And we're gonna hit this once. Same two strings, B and G string. Just one time off. I mean one time with the ring on, then one time with the ring off. So. And right after that we can go just to this third fret of the A string. So here's everything. One more time. Now we're gonna go back to this shape again and hit it twice. Then slide it up a whole step and just one time, middle finger on 
the eighth fret of the B, one time on, one time off with that little bar. So it's like. And then we play this full bar chord again. And instead of what we did in the beginning, it's starting over, but instead of like that, the second time around, we're gonna add our pinky to the uh, tenth fret of the B and go. So I'm going to play two times through. Super slow. It's always fun to have a nice little riff, you know, from an era. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. You can get that free ebook by signing up right there. Got more lessons coming? Guitarjams.com is the site. You can come check that out too. Thanks for the support. We'll see you later.